Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something very cool. Today we're doing a day in the life of a college student and a USA amateur boxer. A couple months ago, I posted a day in the life. That was me in the summer, not really any responsibilities with boxing. But now, since I'm back up at college, I'm trying to juggle graduating college, okay? Trying to finish, do my work, and of course be an amateur boxer, try to get fights and still train. So let's have a good video. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. As you can see, it's a beautiful Monday, right? The clear skies, beautiful sun, right? Anyway, treat Monday as the start of a new week to get better. Always love having a big breakfast. Having big breakfast is obviously important. Have an omelet right here with spinach, mushroom, ham, breakfast potatoes, turkey bacon. Then for fruit, always have fruit in the morning, got cantaloupe and water. I'm heading to my on-campus job now where I work a couple hours a week in the morning. I enjoy it. And right after, we're going to be heading to the gym. We're going to be hitting pool, which is just back and biceps. I always start my lifts with the compound movement right here. Light deadlifts, 155 pounds, four sets of five. Deadlifts are a great workout for boxers. They don't really affect much of your punching or anything like that. So I recommend if you're boxing to really do deadlifts. Helps with grip strength, lower back strength, hamstrings, and so much more. Now, the rest of the workouts I'll be doing is just really to put on muscle and put on strength. Right here, I'm doing lat pull downs. Obviously, lats are important but either way all these workouts are going to be helpful for boxing regardless doing pull okay so back and biceps is going to help with boxing either way it won't really i won't say it will help but it definitely won't harm compared to push as a boxer, your focus should not be bodybuilding i'm doing lightweight higher reps to really just of course to maintain muscle put on a little if i need to but also of course build strength as well right here i'm doing barbell rows this is a compound movement which can help as well then doing some biceps i did more workouts i also did shrugs okay but right here i'm just showing my first bicep workout that i do with the easy bar then i also did hammer curls as well which i did not get on video i'm not going to record most of my workout i'm just trying to get through it but right here i had a good workout love doing pull had a really good workout trust me you could lift weights for boxing don't be discouraged just be smart with it so I had a very good lift, felt very good, and I'm still able, still motivated to go boxing tonight. I went right to class after the gym, U.S. History to 1877. I enjoyed that class, then I just went, uh, came back from lunch. Okay, I didn't record lunch, forgot about that. I had two pieces of chicken, noodles, vegetables, you know, balance of everything. This is my uh, little workstation, right? Playing on my PlayStation 5, Amazon Alexa, let me tell you, that was great for college. My TV, my laptop, got the MacBook, let me tell you about this too. Great purchase, great purchase. Okay, got a Jesus, picture of me and my girlfriend. And then of course, a history book that I had to read, got an exam next week, got to prepare. Then in here, got all my folders and stuff like that. Supplements, all the good stuff, right? All the good stuff, taking care of myself. But hey, now I got about another hour left until my next class. I'm just gonna start working on some stuff. A big thing about balancing school and boxing or just any sport or if you have a job is just time management. You got to make time. You can't have excuses. If that means you got to wake up an extra hour earlier before school or your job, you got to do it. If that means staying up later to get stuff done, you got to do it. Time management. But at the same time, make sure you're still getting sleep. Make sure you're still getting the stuff they have to get done. Right. I love boxing. I love it. But school is more important especially when you're paying a lot of money putting a lot of time in me getting my degree me make, making sure i'm doing good in my classes is a lot more important than amateur boxing okay if i had a job full-time job i'd be saying the same thing everyone's different but that's just me now i'm still dedicated i'm still disciplined in the sport of boxing i'm not going to brush it off i'm still making sure i train I mean, you know, a lot of times out of the week i'm still making sure i'm in the gym all the time so it's all about time management you got to really find it it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. You really got to work hard. I still, of course, got to improve. I still got to put in more time. But anyway, middle of the day, like I said, it's one o'clock now, about an hour left to my next class. I'm going to put in some work now, rest, and uh, do some homework, do some college stuff. It's 3.30 now. Done all my classes for the day. I'm going to be meeting up with my group for another class for a group project and stuff like that in about 45 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing errands now. I have to send back this Chegg book that I don't need anymore. Then the worst thing in college, not worst, but one of the worst things in college is doing laundry. Waiting for that now. Dinner today was trash. Dining hall options at college, not always the best, but I'm going to burn it off when I work out. It's 6.30 now, about to create a PowerPoint and then do some homework for my business management class. Then I'll be going to the gym to train some boxing. Heading to the gym now to do some boxing. I don't feel like doing it. Okay, I had a long day, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it. The days that you don't feel like doing it, you have to do it the most. That's the most important. So I'm gonna be doing some shadow boxing, jump roping, hitting the heavy bag, doing some abs. It'll be a good workout.
So I'm all done the workout. I had a pretty good workout, but I'm a bit frustrated because let me just tell you, I cannot stand the heavy bag. I never enjoyed the heavy bag. I've been boxing for over three years now, and I just I can't stand the heavy bag. I know it's important, all right? One of the most important equipment in boxing, all right? And maybe I'm just lonely here with this when I say this, but I just, I just hate it. I always feel tense. I feel like my form's always weird. Compared to mitts, I love the mitts, right? Working on the mitts with somebody, it's amazing. My form feels great. I feel like I'm, I'm good. Standing on shadow boxing, sparring, partner drills. I feel like I'm good. And then the heavy bag, I just always feel so awkward. I always feel so tense. I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But either way, I still had a good workout though. I just got done abs. We're sparring Wednesday. That's why I went light today. I mean, I only go to the gym once a week now that I'm here. I go to my home gym once a week now that I'm up at college. So I try to get what I could now. But either way, maybe this heavy bag just moves so much. I just don't like it. Well, everybody, I'm back from the gym now watching some football. Bills versus Jets. Aaron Rodgers got, just got caught off the field. Hopefully he's good. I mean, that would have been terrible, right? First game in New York. All that hype just to get injured. Hopefully it's good though. Don't want to see that happen. Um, either way though, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. That's a day in life of a college student and an amateur boxer. It's a busy life, guys. Busy life. I wouldn't want it any other way. We're still working though. Got to get better with the heavy bag, right? Like I was complaining about. But um, I'm looking forward to it, guys. I'm looking forward to vlogging my first ever amateur fight. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. I'm out, guys. Peace.